So hi everyone, welcome back to Data Science in a Pocket. MCP, that is Model Context Protocol, is trending on internet for quite some time now. And Blender MCP, that is connecting Blender software to generate 3D graphics using Cloud AI, is trending huge time. Now, when I was exploring other MCP servers, I came to know about SQLite MCP server as well, which connects Cloud AI to your SQL database. That is correct. So in this particular demonstration, I would be showing you how I connected a demo database with Cloud AI. And now when I'm talking to Cloud AI on this desktop app, it is connecting to that database also. So before we jump on to, let's give you a demonstration first, how it is using SQLite and then I will be showing you the entire process. So basically, if you are able to connect SQLite correctly, you should be able to see this particular tool here, append inside, add a business inside to the memo from server SQLite. I'll be showing you the entire process, so don't worry. But first, let me show you a, a sample query that I'm running. Add a business insight about total cars manufactured. Now, as you can see, it is asking me access to read from the database that I've connected. I need to query the database to provide insights from total cars manufactured. Allow for this chat. As you can see, it is reading through the database for us that I've already connected. So MCP is a game changing framework that Anthropic has introduced last year where you don't require tool calling. Now you are able to connect one software to another where AI is now taking control of the software on its own. As you can see, I have, uh, this UI for Cloud AI is now connected to a sample database that I've connected around cars and you will be in the end seeing the result that I've got. As you can see, it is able to generate insights, production concentration at South Plant in Australia, equal distribution across five different car models, etc, etc. Here you can see that it is reading through the database that I've connected. So how I did it? So let me show you that. So first of all, you need to go to the top left and go to file and go to settings. Once you're in settings, you need to go to the developer section and go to edit config. Here you can see that Blender is also there and SQLite is also there for me. Once you click on edit config, you need to open this particular .json file and open edit. Now here you can see that uh, there are two MCP servers that I have connected. One is Blender MCP that I have demonstrated yesterday. Now today I have connected SQLite. And for SQLite, you first need to mention the full path of your uvx.exe that I mentioned yesterday also. This is very, very specific for Windows users. Once done, the arguments are quite easy. As you can see, this is the config that you need to add. SQLite, that is a command, and args, args is mcp-server-sqlite, db path is this particular path. So I have downloaded a sample database from the internet at this location, car underscore database dot db. Right, once you are done, you need to close this config.json and then restart your Cloud A app. Once you will restart your Cloud app, you should be able to see, as in the hammer section I showed you, this particular thing, app inside, and now, you can talk to your databases using Cloud A. Now MCP server can access your database that you have mentioned that I've downloaded for now. In your case, you need to provide the path, the actual path that you have, and it would be able to draw insights from the database automatically. This is a game changing tool and everyone should try out MCP, especially Blender MCP and SQLite MCP. Thank you so much.